What's good YouTube, it's Chuka the Barber, I'm back with another video Here we are going to do a, uh, a fade I randomly cut people for these videos So I, I never know, you know, what kind of hair they're gonna come with So, you know, they show up Take a look, see what they want, see what they're open to, see if I have free range to do whatever I want. Um, for him, he wanted to keep the top the way it is, and he wanted to uh, fade it up on the on the side. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, as you can see, his top begins very high at you know the longer part of here of the hair uh, begins high in the crown area. Now you can, it, it's a little. You know curly and hangs over slightly but if i was to just push that hair out the way on the sides and lift it up you could see that it goes up pretty high in the crown area so um you know that being said i was like okay you know do you want me to you know maybe try to shape this and he was like nah he likes the way it hangs over i'm like okay cool so um you know i'm gonna put some product in there and kind of get the curls doing their thing so i could kind of play off of that but I say that to say this, okay? You know, I wasn't prepared to really style a cut like this. And doing this cut, what it taught me was to really, you know, get with the trends, you know, get with what's happening today in a sense of, you know, being flexible with, you know, what I could do with some hair like this, right? So I could let it curl up naturally the way it is, but me personally, I wasn't really feeling that, but he was feeling that. Like, that's how he rocks it. That's how he wants it. But ideally i would have liked to twist these up into like these thick like curl coils and kind of let them hang over i think that would have been dope with this because of the fact that uh the long hair you know the curly part starts really high up in the crown area so uh that's what i would have you know did if i had that capability so um you know lately doing these videos cutting random people that you know are willing to you know come and be a model for my videos i learned that you know, when you run encounter something that is um, maybe out of your uh, experience or, or and it kind of suggests that, you know, there should be another skill that you should add to your overall uh, capability so that when someone comes in with a cut like this, I could actually, you know, present something uh, different or take it to another level that I think will look uh, good for them and fit their look and what they're trying to accomplish, but might be, you know, slightly different. All right. So. Um, that was a lesson I learned from this cut, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. But we're gonna get right into it. Um, you can see I already, you know, created the guideline, used the shavers to skin them out, lined up the side and the C cup of the lineup. But I'm using the Wall Legends with this cut. Uh, we're gonna, you know, trim down the bulk, lay it down, get it, prep it up for the fade. Now making sure to follow the way the hair grows, follow going with the grain, and um, one side of his hair you know, grew like backwards. So it was very slanted. It was pretty aggressively too. So you wanna make sure you follow that and go with the grain. Start with this lever closed. Start blending my way up. Adjusting the lever as I bring it up. Removing the previous guideline, creating a new guideline. Making sure I stay consistent throughout. Taking the wall detailers and I'm gonna just make sure I, I fully get out that initial guideline. So I'm gonna flick at it and just make sure that we get off to a great start with the blend. Now I'm back with the Wall Legends and I'm gonna make a slight adjustment and continue my blend and take that up slightly, making sure the bottom of my blend is real tight, real clean, and real consistent. Open the lever a little more. Same thing. Remove that guideline, create a new guideline. Another adjustment, same thing, blending that up. Then we'll throw on our first guard, we'll take the one half 
open the lever all the way up and continue our blend. This time we'll take it up a little more than we did without, without the gore. Now you can see on this side, his hair grows sideways, especially above his ear, that portion. And well, before as it goes back, it continues to grow more backwards. And then once it kind of gets more in the back, it starts to uh, straighten out again. I mean, grow downwards. So I want to make sure that I adjust the angle of the blade so that it gives me a smooth cut in those areas. Now we'll close the lever halfway with this one half guard on, and then we'll blend below that last guy line that we created. Now we're doing the reverse blending technique. And what I mean by that is that I'm starting with the lever all the way open, and then I'm closing it, and I'm blending downward when I make those adjustments. Next guard we're using is the one eighth guard, or you can say a one guard, lever all the way open, and we're gonna bring that blend up, working our way towards the crown area. Now we'll do the same thing that we did with the half guard, we'll close the lever halfway, blend below that last guy line and then once I'm done with that I'll close the lever all the way and then blend below that guy line bringing it all together with the previous guard now finally for this side we're gonna take the I believe this is a one and one half guard lever all the way open and we're gonna bring it all the way up to the crown area, all the way up to where his curls begin to grow. And now we'll close that lever all the way. We'll just jump straight to it being fully closed. We're not gonna go halfway this time. This is a bigger guard, and sometimes you don't have to gradually close it, so I'm gonna just close it all the way and just blend any dark spots out, making sure that my transitions are clean and consistent. Then we'll hit the lineup, so I'm gonna use the blade of the clipper, open the lever all the way, and use the blade as the comb to pull down some hair, creating the baby hair effect, trimming the hair at the same time when I'm doing it. This is a reverse trimming technique. This gives me hair that I can line up to where I can get a sharp line, and I don't have to really go up into that, you know, the dark, thick part of his hair. This allows the lineup to stay in place, allows it to be seen, allows it to pop. I'm gonna take the enhanced hold spray, spray that across the hairline, let that dry, follow it up with a lineup. Any light areas, I'm not gonna go all up in that, I'm gonna just ghost ride it. Hit the sides. All right, so we're gonna line up the other side, connect it to the left side or right side from your guys' perspective, or view, or looking at him right from our perspective. Now once we get that side lined up, we're gonna do the same thing, get started with the blend on the opposite side, starting with the lever closed, blending that out, opening up my lever as I blend my way up, keeping it consistent. In the comments, I want y'all to share with me a time where, you know, you, you ran into a situation similar to this. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I would have liked to have done something different with the top than maybe than what he actually wanted. I would have wanted to introduce a, a different look to the top with like these thick, like, you know, twisted 
coil like curls that kind of have more of a you know that hang like locks in a way you know slightly a little bit i would have wanted to did that on him so let me know if there's a time when you were in a situation and you lack the capability to perform or create the look that you envisioned for your client and what that was what specifically was that that you would have liked to do and i could mention oh, a couple for me as of lately this cut and then uh i think it was two videos ago uh, there was a guy that uh, he ended up getting his hair braided, but you know, it wasn't a lot of hair to braid. But if I could have like knocked it out real quick, it would have completed the look, you know, right there in my chair, you know. But he had to go do it somewhere else. Now, I don't plan on, you know, I don't really have a desire to learn how to braid hair, it's not something that you know I really care to do, but you know, having the capability or having someone around me with the capability uh, definitely would have. Um, you know, allowed me to complete my work in the way that, you know, I envisioned it. So, um, you know, and that could be, you know, sometimes when it comes to a haircut that, you know, has all the, you know, barber components to it and necessarily doesn't have the hairstylist, you know, component to it, which nowadays, of course, it's all kind of blending. But, you know, maybe it was a design for you that the guy requested maybe there was a uh, haircut photo that he brought in and he wanted that look and you were maybe limited in an area of that style that you couldn't really perform or you couldn't really achieve the results you wanted or you envisioned because of that lack of skill or capability. And then tell me what you did to handle that, you know what I mean? Next time, you know, tell me what type of actions you took to, you know, pick up that skill, pick up that capability so that, you know, next time when you, you know, get into a situation like that, you can, uh, you can execute, you can handle it, no problem. So uh, yeah, share that with the comments if you got any stories about that. Now we're gonna uh, enhance the cut. So we're gonna take the enhanced hold spray again, spray a little bit across the hairline. We're gonna use dark brown fibers. We're gonna apply that to the hairline. Yeah, I really think this cut would have been fly if I could have had these curls like more separated into like these individual coils kind of going and you know, laying back or laying to the side a little bit on the sides like I think that would have been a fly look. So yeah, we'll apply the fibers. Keep it light, keep it looking natural. Now we'll follow up with the lineup. Sharpen up the fibers a little bit. Hit him with the razor real quick, making sure to stretch the skin out. Finally, we're gonna take the twist comb and create as much curls as we can with this. Now you can see it kind of gets that effect that I would have wanted to do, but at the same time, there's still, I feel like it's a mixture of like an afro and then with curls, you know, popping out of some parts of the, the afro, which, is isn't a bad look. I mean, I think you know he likes the look, obviously. Uh, but uh, like I said, I would have wanted to make those curls more defined, uh, make those curls more defined, and I think it would have really uh, brought out the cut in a way that you know he probably hasn't experienced. But uh, you know, that's my thoughts. That's the video. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, dropping right here on my channel. Thank you again, I'll catch you next time, peace. YouTube, what's good? It's Chuka the Barber here. I wanna thank y'all for helping me hit 200,000 subscribers. I couldn't have done it without y'all. We are gonna keep it popping, all right? So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Help me hit that 300K, all right? I'm here, giving y'all good game knowledge and information. Three times a week, I'm out, peace.